Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet yet again for another tutorial. My name is Mary and in today's tutorial we are working on our corner to corner rectangle granny stitch swatch <laughs> which can also be um, made into a blanket if you use your larger blocks. Now, what you will need for your particular swatch, how gorgeous is it? I know, I love, love, love. Um, if you are joining us new, we are currently, let's reach over and grab it, we are currently working on our square corner to corner granny stitch blanket. Oh, I've just lost the swatch. Good on you, Mayor. You had one job. <laughs> you had one job. <laughs> you think I can get that right? Sorry, guys. Um, so we are working on our square swatch. Now, I've just turned that swatch upside down but it doesn't really matter um, because it's done one way and then turned the other way there's no right or wrong way to this swatch which is good for all of us <laughs> and um, you will need your uh, yarn obviously you will need your yarn you will need your crochet hook that suits the yarn your scissors you will need that sewing needle I show you how to weave in one of your ends you will need your pencils to help color I'll show that in a minute and you will need one stitch marker and of course you will need your design so as you can see yours truly has done quite a few designs you've got your one two three and four today we're going to work on number four and as you can see it's all colored in and done there so I show you how to work up the design to suit you now remember when you're working on larger blankets you really need to make sure you have your rectangle drawn up because that can make or break <laughs> or break notice how I say that where you change colors okay because you can really mess up your colors if you haven't drawn it up um, and you know used I don't know highlighters colored pencils whatever and as you can see yours truly use the orange and the yellow colored pencils to color in as I went along and I show you how to do that in the tutorial as well so I'm not going to talk anymore we are just going to get started with our normal corner to corner granny rectangle swatch enjoy guys alrighty guys here we have four designs okay now the way you work things is you Work out your rectangle, the size of the rectangle that you want. Say the size of your blanket. Let's just say that's um, 100 rows by 70 or 100 rows by 80. All right. But here we have small amounts. I think it's this one here is, um, num, 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 what is it, 10 by um, num, num, 12 by 8. <laughs> Get it right, Mary. <laughs> oh, here we go. 4, 6, 8. Yes, it's 12 by 8. <laughs> Wake up, Mary. Design one was 16 by 12, I think. 10, 16 by 10, doesn't matter. Design two, design three and design four, all four different designs here. Um, that would mean the amount of rows that we have. So you have your 12 rows up, sorry, your 12 rows up and your 10 rows across. When we've been doing our square, by the way, if you're joining us new, we are doing a square corner to corner granny stitch blanket at the moment but someone asked me about the rectangle and how do we sort out how and where to end on a rectangle so I thought I'd do you a little swatch and the swatch is just a small piece so I'm going to be doing um, I might do design four today there's a little bit less color change but you know if you wanted to go ahead and you know take screenshots of these designs by all means go ahead um, they're very basic you can't go wrong with it okay so we are going to do design four I've already drawn up a rectangle draw up your rectangle of the size that you would like if you really want to do a blanket out of this small swatch go ahead and do that draw up the size that you want the amount of rows that you want remember that each cluster I'm sorry let's get, get a close up for you here each square is a cluster of three double crochets and then chain one, three double crochets, chain one, and so on. So each one of these is going to be three double crochets. All right, so always check your measurement. Make sure you want the right size before you go ahead and design it. Because once you design it and you get halfway through, you think, oh, I didn't want a 20 centimeter by 10 centimeters rectangle. I wanted, you know, a meter by, you know, three quarters of a meter, whatever you wanted. So really check the sizes of your crochet like your um, double crochets that you use all right 
In the meantime, we're going to get started. This is the design we're working on. And what we do is we are counting up four. One, two, three, and four. Oh, let's get a close up and do that. Sorry. Okay, you're counting up four squares, blocks, if you will. One, two, three, and four. So there's your four. All you do is go down one, over one, sorry, down one, over, down, over, down, over, down, and that's your first part. Now, having a look at, at the actual picture, we're going across by two there. So we go one block, two blocks, go over one, whoops, <laughs> I've got the book on an angle, sorry guys. Go over one, down one, all the way down. And if you want to know whether you've done it right, two blocks there, two blocks there, two, 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 two. So that's how you start the section here. Now we're going to do exactly the same with the top. So here we go. One, two, three, and four. And we do exactly the same on this side. Going across by two and then over by one, over one, all right? And that's it. That is this design, all right? Now, again, you're welcome to use any one of these four designs. It doesn't matter, um, but we are gonna use this one here today. All right, so we have four blocks this way. We wanna use, well, I'm going to be using the orange color. You use whatever color you like. I made a mess of that too. Can I get anything right today, guys? Here we go. <laughs> okay, and we want to use two blocks there. We're going to use the yellow for these two blocks. For the rest of the blocks, or the middle bit, I'm going to be using orange. Okay. Um, up here, we're going to do exactly the same. So that's orange and that's yellow. And there's four, two, and two. Over here is four, two, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so by doing all this, you count everything up. Six and two is eight, eight and four is 12. Across this way, four, six, eight. So that's 12 blocks by eight blocks across. All right, I'm hoping all that part is making sense. Later when we start doing our rows, we start coloring in. But in the meantime, let's get started okay here is my orange grab your hook now you use the hook size that you need for your yarn i'm using the size four today we're going to put our yarn oh sorry let's bring that out again all right the basic stitches to this are double crochets chains and slip stitch that is all there is it's basic we're going to start off with a quick slip knot yarn over your finger twice hold it there Pass your back loop halfway over, hold it there. Pass the other loop all the way over, pop your hook in, and there you go. Now, we are going to chain up four. One, two, three, and four. Now we are going to slip stitch in the very top chain like that. Pull a loop through and pull a loop through there, okay? Chaining four again. One, two, three, and four. Putting three double crochets in the center. Now you double crochet is your yarn over your hook, pop your hook in, pull up a loop, yarn over your hook, pull through two, yarn over your hook, pull through the last two. Second one, yarn over your hook, pop it in the space, yarn over your hook, pull up a loop, Three loops on your hook, yarn over your hook, pull through the first two, yarn over your hook, pull through the last two. We're going to do yet again another one, yarn over your hook, pop it in, pull up a loop, yarn over your hook, pull through two, yarn over your hook, pull through the last two. Now we're going to chain one again, one, and another double crochet in the same space. Easy and easy. All right, so what you have basically, those four chains will act as a three double crochet, chain one, 
three double crochets. I'm sorry, <laughs> one double crochet, chain one, three double crochets, chain one, and a double crochet. All right. Now, you chain four. One, two, three, and four. Turn your work. Yarn over your hook. You're going to put three double crochets in that first space right there. By the way, that classifies as your first row. This is your second row. Chain one. Now we're going to jump straight into that space right there with three double crochets. And three. Chain one and a double crochet in the same space. All right, I'm going to stop you there for a minute because I just want you to bring your little sheet of paper over okay your very first block of stitches you did were all right here we go so you can see what you're looking at were those three double crochets so you grab your orange and you are actually coloring in your first block oh it's a bad orange I should actually sharpen this pencil <laughs> sorry about that and now we've done Row number two. So you are colouring in one block and two blocks. So you're going this way. Okay. Now we're going to do row number three. All right. So what we're going to do now is chain th four. One, two, three, four. I nearly said three, didn't I? <laughs> Turn your work like you're turning a page in a book. Yarn over your hook. Remember that first space? We're going to put three double crochets in the first space. One, two and three chain one jump into your next space with three double crochets there's more spaces in this round now two and three chain one jump into your last space with your three double crochets very basic very very basic chain one and one more double crochet there just remember to put the chain one and a double crochet at the end of each row all right so now we're not going to continue for a minute just pull that up again have a look at this this is the corner yes so it's one two three rows yes three rows that way one two three rows that way and one two three clusters along the side you go over to your picture and you color in your three one two three i hope you're getting the look of it now Let's see how it's zigzag anyway there you go so now we're going to get on with our last round because this is the fourth row okay and then we change colors all right so oh it's too close sorry guys we chain four one two three and four turn your work pop in your three double crochets one two and three chain one three double crochets one, two, and three. Chain one, three double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain one, three double crochets in your last space. This is where it gets interesting, guys. Two and three. Chain one. Hold it there. We're going to be putting our last double crochet in there, but because we're changing colours in our next round, we're not going to complete the double crochet. So you started 
pop your hook in, do your normal start to it. You still have your three loops on your hook, yarn over your hook, pull through the first two, hold it there. Grab your yellow or whatever colour you're using. Alrighty, so let's grab our yellow. Put your yellow yarn over your hook, just not knotted or anything, just pop it over your hook and pull a loop through gently, grabbing both, here we go, get out there for a second, both tails of the yarn at the back and holding them any way you like between your fingers there. Bring it back up again. And now you chain four. One, two, three, and four, like you were just continuing on with your rows, okay? So now you can do your three double crochets in that first space. You can tighten all this up later. Let's just worry about doing it first. One, two, and three. Chain one, and three double crochets. Before you continue, we're going to color in those oranges. Okay, I just want you to see those oranges, <laughs> those orange numbers. I just want you to see where we are at. All right, so we did that last row of orange right there. Okay, so now we have changed to the yellow. Okay, easy? This is easy. If you like, now I never have shown you this, and I didn't show you this in the square either, you could do use your arrows to which side you are at that time. If, that's, if you started that way, the next row is that way, that third row is that way, you could, I wouldn't worry about it, it's not necessary for this. You do need arrows when you are working with graphs. You can make um, corner to corner graphs, you can do that. Don't ask me to because I won't. <laughs> I avoid graph gans if I can. So um, your colour that we are using now is yellow. We are on our first two blocks. All right. Now the reason I've stopped you here, let's say for argument's sake, and I've done this in the last tutorial as well, you have visitors and you have to stop what you're doing. Colour in two of your blocks, pack it away, come back in six years time, pick it up and think, what have I done? Oh, wait a minute, this is where I'm at. Okay, so, you know, that's very long visitors, by the way. <laughs> but that's just to help you out. It's a little tip there, all right? What I would like you to do firstly, this is what I always forget to do in most of my tutorials, cut off the old thread. <laughs> I do it all the time. Cut off the one you're working with because you won't need that yet. You will need it later, though. Okay, be brave. You're going to head off on your own. You're going to do one, two, three cluster sets. These are called clusters. Three cluster sets, don't forget to chain in between, if you haven't chained in this one yet, chain in between between every cluster set. You chain your one, you do your double crochet there, turn around, come back. If you're not sure what to do, just watch this video back. Do this row, turn, get to the last space there, and I'll tell you what we're going to do next. All right, here we are at the end of our second row. Remembering to chain in between each cluster set, you are going to put a normal yellow in there, just a full cluster set in there. A cluster of three double crochets. Chain one. Now, we are going to put our three double crochets in that space there. One, two, and three then we are going to chain one and we're not going to finish our we're going to do our double crochet but we're not going to finish it because we need to change back to the orange okay so start your double crochet and hold it there grab your orange pull that loop through and remember what we did before, we held the tail ends of both your orange and your yellow, wherever they are. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm doing well. There's the tail ends right there. I'm sorry. Let's try the tail end of your orange and the working end of your yellow. Okay. Then you chain four. One, two, three, four. Turn your work. Do your first cluster one, two, 
two and three chain one um, actually just hold it there so we can firstly <laughs> cut the yellow don't leave it dangling like I always forget I always forget to cut that yellow naughty yellow okay so grab your book now all right we just did our two rows of yellow so we actually need to color them in we should have colored them in as we went along but because we were off air and you went off on your own and did it we actually didn't color that in so the yellows are all done we are now officially at the end of four five six oh sorry four five six rows so that means no matter how you look at your piece you should have six rows one two three four five and six now here will be different because we started our orange one two three four five and six we've started the orange which is our seventh row up and our seventh row across okay now we've got to be weary with this next step because this is where we finish one row orange which is here this row here and when we turn we finish that row of orange and that is where we start to decrease all right so we are going to do the first row of orange head off on your own that is because you guys know what you're doing now do the first row of orange do that last row of your orange so do two rows of orange and meet me back here at the end of the second row of your orange okay two rows of orange and meet me back all right here we are at the end of the row i have not chained one <laughs> i better chain one before i not miss out on a gap there one two and three so we're doing the end of this row like normal chain one hop into your space there and go one two everything's the same on this row here three chain one do one more double crochet i hope i'm not going too fast sorry guys when i'm off air i speed through the rows just so that i can <laughs> get ready to go back on so here we go grab your orange my really bad orange <laughs> as you do all right now we have done one row and two rows so let's just color hmm. all right let's just color the one row in right there that's your first row i'm coloring it badly because i'm going to go over it in a minute that's your first row right now this is your second row okay all right okay you're at an area where we need to start decreasing okay so what we're going to do pop your book out the way this row is our decrease row making sure you make sure that everything is perfect count one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight and of course you should have eight across one two three four five six seven eight all right so everything's perfect okay oh and yes we needed eight <laughs> just my heads up there all right so we are still chaining up four like normal one two three and four you're going to love how basic the, the decrease is really you are this is where you'll need your stitch marker by the way okay so bring it up turn your work now normally we would pop our three double crochets in that space there we're going to skip it we're going to pop it right into the next space there so pop in your three double crochets one two and three chain one hold it there what I want you to do to make sure you remember this is the corner you're decreasing in right now pop in a stitch marker anywhere you like until you get to that corner it doesn't matter you can pop it there you can pop it up the top you know what up the top is better because you know you're going to get to that top right there okay so anywhere you like it doesn't matter okay it's just to remind you that that is the decrease row until we start decreasing the other side that is your decrease row okay so now uh, did i chain one i did 
we're going to do a normal row of cluster sets. Of course, I messed up. Let's try that again. Hey, let's try it. Take two. A normal row of cluster sets. All right, so there's your three double crochets. Two and three. Chain one. chain one all right now this end is still growing okay so we're not going to do what we just did in this side of the corner we're just going to keep going the way we were going before we decreased so jump into your normal space before your corner doing your three double crochets now if we were decreasing here chain one if we were decreasing here we wouldn't do this next step this is our normal step you jump into your end corner with your three double crochets you got it okay whoops chain one and another double crochet right there all right so your row now looks like this this is now officially another corner this is going to start growing like that whereas this is going to keep going outward it's still going to grow outward this is going to start straightening up all right so now we are going to this is where your number of your um, cluster sets will change this is how you need to be focused all right so you did this row right here let's get a close-up so you can see you decreased in this row so it's no longer going out this way it's going up one two three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So the amount is going to change because you are closing off. You are not growing. Okay. So before when we went like this, let me show you. In other words, let's try this. We've done four, six, seven, eight, nine rows, right? We have done nine rows up. Across this way, we've only done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, get it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right? I'm hoping you're getting that, and you will probably get it a little bit later in a couple of rows. So, now all you're going to do with this row. Turn your, I'm sorry, don't turn your work. We forgot to chain up four. Get it right, Mary. Chain one, two, three, and four. Turn your work like normal. And this side, everything is normal. One, two, three. Chain one. All right, so just keep going across the row like you would any other row okay until you get to the very second last cluster right there then we need to decrease again all right off you go So here we go we are on our second last space there and that's where our last space is take your stitch marker out for a minute all right so this is the decrease row we jump into our next space like normal because that's the space before the end one two and three double crochets now we chain the one like we would any other row except we're not doing our cluster set in there. All we're doing is popping a normal double crochet in there. Just one in that same space. Okay. Chain one, two, three, and four. Turn your work. Okay. Get ready to do your next 
cluster set but not in the first space we're jumping right over here into that next space with one two three chain one and do another cluster set before you do grab your stitch marker and pop it in that space there because that is where your short row is your short side is and keep going with a two more double crochets all right I'm just going to stop you there chain one and hold it there all right can you see what's happening can you see how that is still growing outward and this is straightening up this is already at its width right there okay so let's grab our book remember we just did our row okay which is we just did this one whoops right here simple yeah color that in all the way we just did that we are now up to this row here so we're up to one and two we need to do two more rows and then we start decreasing that side so what I want you to do right now head off on your own do your two more rows remembering to decrease here and keep growing there and I shall meet you back here after you finish this row and the next row and we'll talk about what we're going to do next so here we are at the end of the second row I have one cluster set before the corner let me just blow that up a little bit for you there's one set goes there one two and three chain one and there's the corner now what we do in our corner is we put one double crochet in there only okay and then we chain up one two three four turn your work remember for this side we are skipping and jumping straight into your next space one two three chain one pull up a loop just grab your stitch marker out and pop it in your next one right there all right okay so that's that you've probably noticed now that your work is working out oh, sorry about the threads there sorry guys you are starting to see that look sorry about the ends guys we will weave a couple of those in too later just to have a look see so you're starting to see that look it is closing up this side isn't it this one is still growing however let's grab our orange and our book all right here we go we just completed now you can see what we're doing we just completed this row as you can see I sharpened the pencil off here <laughs> and the second row we completed both rows I'm going to color both rows in at the same time which can be a little confusing if you want to do one you can I probably should have done one for you <laughs> so I didn't confuse you we are officially here so you know what's happening we're officially right here that's where we we finished off so I'll color one in for you so you know where we are that's where we are that one right there is that one okay so if you wanted to continue coloring and make it look nice you can you don't have to <laughs> so at the end of this row we needed to decrease so we're going to do that now all right so we may not need this in the future because from now on we'll be decreasing on both sides which is going to be great now not only will we be decreasing on both sides your next row after this row here your next row will be yellow but you don't have to worry about that yet so we're going to do this row just pop in your um, cluster set of three and three chain one did I chain one there before I did yes wake up Mary <laughs> wake up woman <laughs>
chain one, pop it in the last cluster set. One, two, and three. Chain one. All right. Now, ordinarily, we would jump in there with a cluster set and a double crochet. I'm sorry. Cluster set, chain one, and a double crochet. Get it right, woman. All we're going to be doing is putting a double crochet in there. We're not going to finish it because we need to change our colour as well. So we are popping a double crochet in there. One. Leave it there. Grab your yellow. Okay, grab your yellow. Like that. Whoops. Get it right. Pull a loop through. Hold your ends at the back. Chaining up your four. One, two, three, and four. Now remember to turn your work. And because we are decreasing, we are not popping a cluster set in that space. We are jumping straight into your next space with one, two, three, chain one. One, two, three, chain one. Before you do, chop off your orange, otherwise it's just going to annoy us. So we need to get on with our next colours. Okay, so there you go. Now, what I need you to do at the end of this row, decrease. Meet me back at the end of your yellow row here don't do anything just meet me just finish off this row meet me back here and i'll talk about what we're going to do next so you're going all the way down there do your decrease as normal turn back and wait for me there all right so here we are at the end of the row you've still got your stitch marker on that side showing you that you're decreasing but you're actually decreasing here as well don't forget okay we probably could have put another stitch marker but it's not it's pointless now because we know that we're decreasing on both sides so we are at the second last space we put our cluster set in like we would normally so you chain one so hold it there for one minute so before we finish off okay because from memory we need to change color and yes we do we had Oh, we forgot to colour in that orange row from before. Oh. There it is. That's done. Pretend like we coloured that in. Shh. <laughs> you didn't see me do that. Actually, you didn't really see because I forgot to bring it out. <laughs> Shh. All right. So there's our two yellow rows. All right. Two yellow rows. That's our last two yellow rows, which we're going to colour in in a minute. But... Just so that you know, we actually need to change back to our orange. I know it seems like we just changed to it, doesn't it? <laughs> so we will do our last double crochet right there, but don't finish it. Pull a loop through the first two like we do before we change colours. Hold it over there. Grab your little orange like so. And pull the loop through both loops on your hook. Now. Grabbing the tail end of your yellow and the orange tail. And with your working end, you are chaining up four. One, two, three, and four. Turn your work. Now remember, we are not putting our cluster sets in that space anymore. We are jumping straight into the next space with a one double crochet, two double crochets, three double crochets chain one put a cluster set in your next space and we'll talk about the coloring in part again so that you don't get confused chain one pull up that loop all right so there we are let's just cut that yellow end because that's just going to confuse us we can get rid of that completely because we're not changing into the yellow anymore so can you see now what is happening here? All right, it's a little bit wobbly, but that's okay. It does adjust itself later. All right, can you see what's happening? We got to this end, now we're closing up. So now that is also straightening up like that. And eventually it'll all close up to the point. But for now, 
we need to do this part. All right, grab your yellow. We did the two rows of yellow, so color those two rows in right there. All right, we're now officially up to the last four rows of orange. Let's say you wanted to check your yellows. The last yellow row you did is one, two, three, four, five clusters across. To make sure you're correct, just go one, two, three, four, five, and you are correct. All right, so you know where you're at. Okay, there's many ways you can check to see if you're okay. All right, all right, we can take out our stitch marker because you know now that you are decreasing on both ends. All right, so this is the best bit, guys. It's going to shrink very quickly now. Grab another cluster in the next set. And three. Chain one. Yes, we have two spaces there, so we still need to put another cluster in there. So pop one in there. One, two, and three. Chain one. And this is the end of the row. We are just going to put one double crochet in that big space. Right there. Chain one, two, three, and four. Turn your work. Remember, we are not popping it in that space. We are going straight into the next space with a cluster set. Two and three. Before we do, chain one. Grab your book. Colour that very last orange row that we did. And the reason we're colouring in row by row now is because we are nearing the end of our work. We literally only have one, two, three rows left. And they are going to fly because they are small rows. Okay. Simple. All right. One. Two. Three. Chain one. One. Two. Three, chain one, and there's your big space. You pop a double crochet in there. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Turn your work. Skip that space. Jump into your next with a three double crochet. One, two, and three. Chain one, hold it there. Now we are doing this bit by bit because this can be a little bit confusing. So you've just completed that row. Now here's where it gets that little tiny bit confusing. You've got three clusters left, two rows. All right, so you've got one. Pop a cluster in that space before the end. One, two, and three chain one popping one double crochet in there all right now stop where you are because the next row is your last row so you're coloring in that one there and that one there all right best part chain one two three and four turn your work we're skipping that space. We're jumping into there with a three double crochet. One, two, and three. Chain one and double crochet in that space there. Okay, you're chaining one, two, three, and four, like you did at the end of every row. Now, when you turn your work, ordinarily we put a cluster set in, but there's no more space for cluster sets. This is the end space where we would normally put a double crochet there. What we're going to do is just pop in a slip stitch into the space. So pop your hook in, pull up a loop, and pull it through. Chain one, pull up your loop, give it a cut, and there you go. You have now formed 
your corner all right so if you look at it that is the corner right there all right there and there let's get all that threads out the way all right so there you go let's do this color in your last piece your rectangle is now complete all right so what we're going to do just quickly so that you know what you're doing we are going to weave in one of these ends to weave in this end you can do um, this end or any end any way you like okay your best way is actually to weave it down here and weave it in and out having said that we're going to be doing a border row so I just want to let's get a close up here so you can see okay I just want to weave it in and out of this end right here like so all right or you can just pop it through like so that way if it's easier for you to do it this way don't pull it too tight because that'll happen you don't want that to happen <laughs> all right and don't stress too much because we are going to pop a border on this if you're not going to pop a border I would suggest weaving it through uh, down here weaving it straight through in here and then just weaving it in and out from the inside of that way so in fact you know what we'll just do one for the sake of doing one so you know what I'm talking about all right so we're just going to go in side some loops there whoops like I said don't pull it too tight it's no good and we're just going to weave it in through some stitches so that you can't see it and go straight into that little orange piece underneath and then all you're doing is weaving it in and out of the middle of your orange piece just checking that you can't see the needle on either side right there one and then just go back the other way again making sure you can't see that needle and you can't pull it through and there you go you can do it a third time whatever suits you I'm going to leave it there because we weaved it in up the top there so probably double worked it there you shouldn't have to I just wanted to show you that if you weren't putting a border on you could just have done that and left it like that but I think in a couple of days time join me here and we will do a border for our little granny stitch rectangle gorgeous is it all out oh, there it is <laughs> all right gorgeous very nice very nice all right thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to like subscribe and share and do all those wonderful things that you do for me we mean these gazillion ends or meet me back here i will crochet over the ends and show you how to weave them in so you don't have to do this part here all right so it's a lot easier and lovely borders look great borders do look great on blankets it does give it a finished look you don't need to if you want your little blanket or your little swatch to remain just this way weave these ends in the way i said otherwise come and join me in a couple of days time and we will pop a border on our rectangle thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share and do all those wonderful things that you do for me guys and guess what ciao for now <laughs>